y'all welcome back so I'm in an odd location today I'm back on my stairs because Sawyer is napping in the floor in front of me and I didn't want to move him and I also don't have a filming room anymore because it's a nursery but I had to hop on here because I didn't have an intro for this video and I wanted to put some disclaimers out anyway so if you read the title you know that we're now homeowners Woo! Um, we're so excited. This is a tour of our new home. I did want to put disclaimers out because we have so many supportive people, but we also have a few trolls, so I just wanted to go ahead and get this out of the way. We started looking for homes a while back, back when I was pregnant. We had a list of what we wanted. We wanted a single story, open, not too blocky, not too big, um, with at least a decent sized yard. Nothing that we looked at really fell into what we wanted except for this place. And I'm putting a disclaimer on here because before you see it, it is a manufactured home, double wide, trailer, whatever you want to call it. But I just wanted to say I know that some people are kind of snotty about that. So if you are snotty, don't even bother. Like I don't, we don't care. We love it. We don't love it now, but we're going to love it as we fix it up. We are, we're not completely gutting the place, but we are doing a lot of work. Um, it is only 15 years old, so it's pretty good. It's just cosmetically awful. It was dirty and disgusting in this past weekend. I think four days of good like cleaning and scrubbing and kind of demo day. If you watch Fixer Upper, that's what we are right now, and I love it. But we are doing this all completely on our own. We're doing our own floors, our own walls, our own counters. Um, we're doing everything. And I've recorded every step so far and I'll keep doing that because it's so exciting. So we're going to be doing a lot of DIY videos, uh, a lot of home renovation videos. We're going to be showing y'all step by step how we do things. We're doing everything on a budget. We are very budget conscious people. There will still always be keto videos on my channel, but I've said in the past, I really want to do other videos on my channel. I don't want it to just be keto. And, you know, I've asked y'all before, do you want me to create separate channels or keep on this channel with everything? And everyone has always said, aside from a few, couple of people, everyone has always said stay on this channel. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to stay right on this channel. And we're lucky in that we still have this apartment until the end of the month. We just closed on the place on the 1st. So we are trying to get as much done as possible before we move in. But anyway, um, I'm rambling on, but I just, we're going to get right into the tour and keep an open mind. We filmed this before video, like right when we got there, before we had really done much of anything. Um, so you get to see the before completely as is. So but thank y'all for joining in another journey of my life. Um, another new beginning of my life. I'm always excited to share this with y'all and thank you for your support always and I'll see y'all next time. Okay this is the door we used to come in and out. It's when you first walk in it's the laundry room. I left this washer and dryer here. We have our own so we'll probably either store it in the garage or sell it. And then here's the kitchen. The stove was already here. We've got some cabinets and these countertops. Look at these babies. They said that these are pretty new but I think I want to do some type of like chopping block sort of wood whatever those are called um, and then the sink window to our backyard we have a backyard and then cabinets under here they left the or they had this fridge here it's pretty old but that's okay and then over here there's a little thing little cabinets and just a little area um, and then off the kitchen, there's a half bath. Eventually, we're going to have to put some type of tub or shower in here. But um, that is the half bath. Uh, I'm not going to show you all the carpet yet because I really, I really want you to get the full effect in the living room. Uh, all of this, everything's going to be painted. Um, so this is one of the bedrooms. I'm not sure which one Sawyer's going to be in yet. This is the second bedroom. They're about exactly the same size. They both have closets like this in it. Pretty nice size closets for kid. We'll have to we'll have to make sure to put alarms on those windows. <laughs> no teenagers sneaking out of my house, that's for sure. This is a piece of furniture that they left that I actually do like. It's this table. I kind of want to paint it though. 
like a antique type of thing and the chairs that match okay we're gonna move into the living room and y'all just get ready for this carpet okay look at this this carpet's disgusting it not because of how it looks but look at the discoloration the inspector said it was more than likely sun bleached but still but look at this we have a yard our dogs get to run around back here and have fun i'm so excited we're gonna have like a fire pit there's this little fireplace here um jake was really wanting to keep it inspector was a little hesitant um we'll see we left the furniture um, and then we'll go into the bedroom. Look at this lovely wallpaper. Floral greatness. Okay, they left some dressers. I'm not sure if we're going to keep all of the, all of this furniture, but I definitely like to repurpose stuff. So, maybe. This bathroom. Jake's already started, has already started to rip the carpet up in this bathroom. It's really big. I don't know if it'll show how big this bathroom is. I don't know if you'll get the full effect on camera. But there's two closets. So, one for each of us. That's good. And then there's a stand-up shower here. And the toilet. One of our biggest things about this place. Why on earth are you going to put carpet all the way to the shower and the toilet and the tub? I don't know. But it looks, we've already started peeling it up. There's no, like, rot or anything, so that's good. Um, then we just have some cabinets over here in this sink. Um, this will be a good double sink someday. It's really big. And then, of course, this tub is huge. Um, now, that. Yeah, we're going to get rid of those. Who on earth wants to see their fat behind crawling, climbing into this tub on every unflattering angle? Not me, not me. We're going to replace the toilets. We have a lot to do, not going to lie, but try to get like a full effect of the openness because that's why we love this so much. Um, usually manufactured homes are like so blocky, so blocked off, but this is so open. Taking this down. Probably today. There's no need for that to be there. Um, but it's just so open. Do you have anything to say about the about the tour? Well, we're gonna show them thing everything at a time. I think we'll do separate videos for like floors and walls. See how we do it because we're always balling on a budget. So we have a front porch here and. Um, so we closed yesterday and they were supposed to keep up with the grass. I'll have to do a video about our home buying experience, but it was literally the worst experience. We had the best real estate agent. Amazing. But their real estate agent was horrible. Anyway, um, so we have a nice little front yard. We have nice big trees in it. I don't know what we'll do with this. We'll, we might stain it. We'll, we'll definitely paint that. Um, but the colors, the outside colors, will probably stay what they are for a little while. I think we're mainly going to focus on the inside for the most part, aside from a fence for the dogs. Everything is very overgrown, which is driving Jake insane because he would never let the yard get like this. And then this monstrosity, just look at all of this. It's like a jungle. I don't understand how or why they did not keep up with this. And then we have a garage here, which we'll probably not use for a garage because it's fairly small. Jake will probably use it as like a workspace. He'll probably do a lot of his smoker videos out here. Maybe we'll show you some like DIY wood stuff he could make. This is our backyard. We have a backyard for our puppies. It's not huge, but it is so much bigger than what we have now or what we've ever had before. We've never had a yard before. Aside from a little patch of like fenced in area we have for him now. To show y'all the back of the house because it is disgusting. Um, Jake brought his pressure washer. I don't understand. I don't understand it. But maybe I'll show y'all a before and after of 
this pressure washing. We're so excited. We can't wait to show y'all what we do at the place. We have so many ideas. And yeah, it'll take some time, but oh, we're just so excited. Um, this is what we wanted. We wanted something that we can make our own. Oh, Jake's gonna try to mow with his real mower. No? Oh. Hey, it helped a little. <laughs> it helped a little. Whoa. That is so ridiculous. Goodness gracious. How do you feel about them not keeping your yard up? So irritated. What are you going to do? <laughs> Just slightly. We may need to get a, a power mower. <laughs> Let me get you get a little view of the front of the house for you. Oh, and I just love this tree. They have trees like that down this down south with the beautiful like I don't know what color like greeny brown leaves. Oh, they're so gorgeous. But this is the front. This is the front of our little our little abode. We love it, and it is so much work, so much cosmetics. But we wanted something like this. We just has so much potential. You know, we're going to love it. I know we will. And I know it's going to turn out great. Really proud. Aren't you proud? Yeah. Once I get this lawnmower. I'll be here about eight hours. Jay. <laughs> eight hours later. I'm y'all for watching. I'll talk to y'all next time. Bye. Hi. Are you happy to be in your new house? We love you. We're going to have the best room. 